I was born in Venice and uh, I actually ran away after the three years of university and uh, I ended up to go to Milan. I stayed there like for five years. After Milan I spent uh, a bit of time in Naples but uh, at the end I understood that it wasn't the right place to be for me. Two years ago I also landed up to another island that is uh, Sardinia um, because of uh, my research and uh, after these seven years like rolling and going all around uh, I, I needed a time and a place to be quiet and to process all the, the experience, all the things that, uh, that I had in my bag that in a way it was full of things. So I ended up here. I felt the need to make peace with, uh, with my past in here. And I think like coming back here is also a sort of responsibility to the city. Right now I'm in, uh, in residency here in this space that you are seeing, that is Bevilacqua La Masa. Having the, the opportunity to work here, it was like a sign that uh, I came back here and maybe it's the right choice. The cornerstones of my works are for sure the human body and the movement. Uh, at the beginning I started to work with videos because I think movie images really can create narratives and I was interested in the filming. But at the same time, I had the necessity and the feeling uh, during my years away from, from here, from Venice, to put myself uh, in the movement, uh, giving the opportunity to the people to see the, the work uh, through a different point of view. The relationship with the space, uh, with the artwork, uh, and with the, the body of the, the viewer is uh, a really important thing to me to, to research and to reflect on. Like movement is transformation, movement uh, is uh, like uh, life. There is always this kind of uh, contrast uh, in my works that are violence and cure, but at the same time like tension and tenderness and also kind of, you know, fragile and strong. I mostly work with like uh, chapters, so for example, this culture over here are part of a works that is called Dormiveglia and uh, it's based on three chapters. Uh, right now I made uh, the first two and Dormiveglia is actually a sort of combination, you know, in one single word that is Dormiveglia. There is a movement but is inside the brain. So our senses are still open, our senses are still stimulated by the surrounding, but our body is still. You have to imagine that this sculpture and others, like even the glass ones, were hanged from the ceiling and uh, there was like a, this kind of light, a flashing light, that was uh, creating like a sort of contrast uh, in the eye, so you have to imagine your body surrounded by these sculptures that you don't really understand what they are, you need to put yourself inside the space, you need to go really close to them, but uh, even your eyes cannot catch everything in one moment. You cannot take anything for granted, and I think also this is a kind of way of working for me. It's not a scientific way, but there is a method and uh, the method is based on the doubt. And I think like uh, working with this kind of uh, knowledge is something that I try and I want to put inside my work because uh, we have always to, to put ourselves in a different point of view. In the last uh, year, I create a sort of bound uh, with Murano and I will move there to this little island of Venice for working and for living there and for my practice. It's really important to work nearby artisans and knowing, you know, like the know-how of a technique 
and uh, like working uh, in glass factory, it was like uh, uh, mind blowing in a way. Working with this new material is something that I have to explore. Right now I am working on the third chapter of uh, Dormiveglia that for sure will be really into this material. Uh, using glass uh, is a completely new way of uh, handle things because uh, even if metal have some kind you know, of unpredictable sides, uh, glass have uh, more. Glass can like, create this relationship with, with space because space enter inside the works with the reflection and with all the texture of it. Uh. Most of the people think that is not a, a city in transformation, that it never changed. I think it's the opposite. It's uh, like a transformation in itself. In a way, it's also like a, a continuous memento mori, and, uh, but it's not a way of seeing it like, uh, like, like the death and like uh, something that will completely um, stop of being. Like memento mori, I think, is something that have to be uh, um, agreed to, to living. <laughs>